the trees uproot themselves and they come and sit in your house and be your friend for a while. We go back to the friendly forest. Hi everyone, it is I, Gary Schumacher. Welcome to Exposing False Prophets, a channel of Christian commentary where false prophets and false doctrine will be exposed. But first, I'd like you to check this out. All right, so as you all know, me and Tango Ray Tony, we have our issues, you know. So I've invited him on the show tonight uh, to uh, discuss our issues. So uh, here is Tango Ray Tony. I got to take him off and pause here for a minute. We're going to discuss the uh, some issues that we're having uh, with him and I. So uh, welcome to the show, there, Tango Ray Tony. How you doing tonight? What's up? How you How doing? You doing? Not too bad, not too bad. So, uh, what's your issues with me, pal? Well, well Schumacher, Schumacher, you know, you, know, you talk, talk a lot of trash on, on the show of yours. Yeah, I do, you know, I do. It's yeah. typical of what you Jersey boys, boys do. Over oh, well, you, gotta get, you don't got to get personal with Jersey now. I mean, you know, honestly, I mean, I'm from New Jersey, you're from New York. So, what's yeah, the big yeah, deal? Yeah, whatever, whatever. 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 Oh, listen, listen uh, how do you get a man from New Jersey to do sit-ups? How? You put, you put the remote, remote control, control between, between his toes. toes. Oh, I can't oh, stand, stand myself, Schumacher. You, you gotta be kidding. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> All right. Uh, why was the baby Jesus not from New York? Because they couldn't find three wise men yeah, in yeah, a yeah, virgin. Whatever, Listen. Oh, he cuts what does a bottle, bottle of beer... beer. And, and a guy, a guy from, from New Jersey, Jersey have in common. common. What's that? They're, They're both, both empty, empty from, from the, the neck up. up. Oh! <laughs> you are yeah, just incorrigible, yeah, yeah. Tangeray Tony. Just incorrigible. What am I going to do with you, you know? All right. I think it's about time I end up watching you, Mark. Hey, you're a bad you're dude. We're going to have a problem. Oh, we always got a problem, Tangeray Tony. I think this interview is over. Over. You hear me? Whatever. whatever. Yeah, whatever, pal. All right, that's that's Tangeray Tony. We we couldn't clear a darn thing up here, but uh, you know I'm a good Christian man. We're gonna work on it, okay? But New York, New Jersey, we never seem to get along. So as crazy as the uh, Tangeray Tony is, the even more crazy pink-haired cat curse, who I am covering in this video tonight, and um, and let me just get over to the. Uh, to her video here, uh, there's these, uh, looks like co-pastors at some church that are invited old Cat Kerr out there. And uh, let, without further ado, Cat Kerr. Woohoo! I know why Jesus loved him so much. I know why he wanted to be with him. I know why he went away to the mountain to spend time with him. I know how hard it was for him to leave home and come here. Okay? He was not poor. He didn't live poor. Yeah, her and Robin Bullock always have to drive and emphasize the point that Jesus was not poor. Say, Say Jesus, Jesus was not poor. Now let's make sure we, you know like the true cult leader that she is, make sure that you repeat after me, Jesus was not poor. He was poor when he left heaven. Because heaven is certainly not poor. There's nothing poor up there. Nothing. Splendor and wonder and beauty. You couldn't afford to build the house that your mansion that your mother lives in. You wouldn't even have the right substances to make it. The walls sing. The walls sing. Okay. You know, I'm sorry I'm late, but my walls had me up late last night just singing. They would not shut up. You know? I, I just don't understand it. Literally, they sing. They leave, go on tours, come back, they sing hello to them. The trees uproot themselves and they come and sit in your house and be your friend for a while. 
We'll go back to the friendly forest. I'm sorry I'm late, but the trees in my yard just kept coming in here and just hanging out. They would not go home, you know, to the friendly forest. And, you know, this is this is absolutely ridiculous. But then again, so I was listening to a woman with pink hair. Is this okay? It's not going to be normal. What? Oh, no, poor cat. It can't be normal. normal. You've been going to heaven for 20 years. You've been normal to heaven. No one, cat, would ever call you normal. No one. Not a soul. Not a tree in my yard would call you normal. They tell funny stories a lot. Bob Jones hasn't stopped. Most people, when they go there, no matter how they were here, they're all happy. They love jokes. They love to tell funny stories, hear funny stories. They love it. They make plans for people before they come. They knew Paul was coming. They all knew Paul was coming. There's a place you go in heaven where you find that out. And you go in this beautiful, amazing building. And these supernatural monitors, much better than ours, but these are good. And you can see who's coming home, who's about to come home to heaven. Everybody starts getting things ready. They're so excited. They're, they're beside themselves. They want to make sure they're all there. Say all to meet you at the gate. Say all. All. You know, this is another thing I wanted to point out here is that you don't, what don't you see up on this, you know, pulpit here? You don't see a Bible. You don't see a Bible. You don't see any prepared notes that she may have. She just goes up there and she lits that pink brain fly of hers. Yeah, she just, she just shoots from the hip. She's just making it up as she goes along, you know, and uh, I, I guess that serves her well over the years. Uh this. They have a huge celebration. They, they plan one themselves. Heaven plans one. The throne room plans one. Uh, people have celebrations in the street over someone coming home. Say home. home. It's because that's where you came from. We were loaned to the earth for a while. When you go home, you are really home. And you're not dead. They don't throw parties for people who aren't alive. <laughs> <laughs> they have huge celebrations, lots of music, lots of food, everyone meeting one another, visiting. <sighs> Jesus welcomes you if he isn't taking you himself. Some so, uh, food. She always mentions about food in heaven. Now, I did a little research uh, about food in heaven, and it there is a couple of mentions of so mostly what they talk about is what they call living water okay um but we're we're in heaven we've already we've passed away from this life i don't really think that we're going to need food anymore but she talks about peach and joe's up in heaven and all this stuff you know she talks about a lot of things uh bubblegum forest and talking walls and all this other things you know what she never, ever, and I mean never, ever talks about repentance. She also never talks about the life review that's going to happen. That never comes to play in anything. She just talks about the, the loveliness of heaven and all that. But, you know, we we are the, we are going to, uh, we need to repent if we're going to get to heaven. Okay, she never ever talks about that, does she now? Sometimes he does take people. He comes in his own chariot, flaming horses, picks you up, and takes you up to heaven. Then when you get out, you see the sea of the mass of people waiting to greet you. And then Jesus walks you up the steps of the throne to give you back to the Father. 
And then the Father reaches out of that glory that moves in and out of him, the living colors of the bow coming in and out. His eyes flames of fire, passion for you. He's just glowing. And he reaches his arms out and grabs you. He says, welcome home, my son. Or welcome home, my daughter. You go home as his children. Say, we are his offspring. There she goes again, having the congregation repeat after her, and they dutifully do it, okay? Um, she's, uh, she's something else. She's, she's not exactly whipping up the crowd here. She does not have a whip up a crowd. She's very, it's very rare for her. She's very somber in this, in this one here. Um, but, uh, yeah, she's, uh, she's uh, I don't know, she's Cat Kerr. Everyone gets their own mansion. You don't have to share it with your brother or sister. I'll have my own one day. It's made exactly the way you would love it. But it's made with his presence in the walls and the floors. And it's not going to be a normal shape. Trust me, it's not. All your pets will be there. They'll be waiting to greet you. Eating your food. There we go with food again. You know, she is, uh, she's fixated on heavenly food. I guess no devil's food cake in heaven, right? At your table. Your family members will all have gifts for you. For every year you've been apart, they will get a gift that represents that year and put it in your mansion. After your welcome home party in the throne room, which could last for quite a while, <laughs> Your family will come get you and take you to your own mansion. Then they'll have another celebration. Everybody laughs and filled with joy to see all the ones they loved before. Little tiny babies they never got to raise. They get their children given to them to raise. So, yeah, this gets a little weird here, the story she's coming up with here. Um, but it, like I said, again, nothing about repentance you know nothing like your, your cats are at your house your dogs are at your house eating your food and that's this is what she does this is what they call tickling the ears people that's what she's doing she's tickling all these people's ears and that's what the bible said she is what the bible has warned us about okay please listen to this same one that you that didn't make it all the way through amen god keeps them they live with your grandparents or whoever when they get there they'll go get them and help raise them for a while i love the story of a mother um they lost their son he was either seven or eight he was hit by a car and they of course they they grieved over him but knew he was in heaven and I think it was like 20 years later or 30 years later, one or the other. <laughs> so she can remember all this stuff about heaven, but she can't remember if the kid was seven or eight or it was it 20 or 30 years. You know, it's amazing how, how faulty her mind can actually be when she tells this story. Don't you, don't you find that amazing? <laughs> she died on the operating table and was caught up to heaven, saw her seven-year-old son playing in the streets of gold he goes mom wow mom you're here this is so exciting your mom i'm so glad you're here and he, she goes what have you been doing he goes i've been playing with my friends what do you think i've been doing he'd been living with his grandfather and playing with he all, all these friends in the streets of gold they were playing and he was laughing and he said but you can't come yet because it's not your time okay so I find this very amusing. So first of all, he surprised to see his mother. Mom, what are you doing here? Oh, and uh, I'm playing with my friends and all that, he tells her on the streets of gold. But not Jesus, not God, not the Holy Spirit, tells her it's not, it's, she can't stay here, it's, she has to go back. It's her son, who just seconds earlier was surprised to see her, but instantly knows that she has to go back. Uh, please explain that one to me. And so she came back. 
Never forgot it. And her and her husband went around the world talking about it. You will be known as you were known. Except you'll look better. Like, like a whole, a whole lot, lot better. She would. You'll have hair. Most. Listen, I'd love to grow my hair back, but I hope it's not pink. <laughs> guys that wear their hair about down to their shoulders don't have, you know, that's going to change y'all. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> it's going to change, guys. Um, unless you really want, like, a buzz cut or something, you know. Marine Corps. Urgh. My husband may, may still, still have one. one. <laughs> it's not urgh. It's oorah, by the way. Okay? Get it right, cat. Might be surprised to see him alive. <laughs> He's still with me, by the way. Another way to kill me, but that was okay. <laughs> that poor husband of hers. Oh, wait a minute. I'm sure they're not poor. <laughs> it's all, all worth everything. All right, that'll do that. So there, there is the very tame cat cur, but still very insane. She can be tame and insane. <laughs> so, yes, that is what I'm bringing you tonight. She's still, that, that is one of her latest, latest and greatest. So, uh, so we, yes, one weekend she's at Robin Bullock's church with a red, white, and blue hat on and cape and prayer shawl handing out Gandalf staffs and the next minute she's repeat after me. The walls are talking, you know? So yes, you really, really need to stay away from this, this crazed woman. And so here is another video real quick um, from my, my friend Matthew 715. Um, like I said, if you don't or haven't already, please go out and check out his channel. He has amazing content. This is a very short clip of her, and it kind of delves into her, her psyche a little bit, her grandiose, uh, holier-than-thou um, way she seems to live her life or her psychosis or whatever it is that she's doing here. But let me just play this clip real quickly. I'm going to stay here, like, forever. Have you told God that? Have you told them you're okay if you don't die when you're 120 or 90 or whatever year they've got it up to right now? He's keeping some. He's keeping. He told me I, he won't even discuss death with me. He won't even discuss death with her. But she goes up to heaven just about every day. So why should he discuss death with her? Um, but, you know, I thought death was a part of life. He did show me an incident in the future where many people had died. It wasn't like from a normal war or anything. You couldn't even tell that, you know, that they were actually dead, but they were. And I was being carried um, by a military in a military jeep. It was not in this country. Not that it would matter. <laughs> what was going to happen, it would be great anyway. Because I was going to raise those people from the dead. Mass raising from the dead is going to be normal in your life. Oh, and we jumped into this crazy guy too. So yes, mass raising from the dead is going to be normal in your life. Okay? This, and, and the people in the audience are cheering and believing every single word that she says. This is blasphemy. Okay, and obviously she's in a military jeep, not of America's, but they're sending her out there and some, and she doesn't even know how they died. You know, it's funny when God shows her these things and these other prophets, how they leave out such important details of how these people died. Was it a pandemic? She knows it's not a war, but for some reason she's in a military jeep. Come on. Come on, people. It just, it just boggles my mind how people, 
pay money to go see this woman and listen to her. The Bible tells you how they're, been, they're tickling your ears. Oh, that's my phone. Sorry. I, I was a big fan of the Jetsons when I was a kid. So, um, so yes. Uh, oh, somebody's wishing me a happy Father's Day. Thank you, Chris Crotta, <laughs> for missing me a happy Father's Day. Um, yes, tomorrow is Father's Day. So, And to all the fathers out there, uh, I wish you all a happy Father's Day. And But the most important is the Father in Heaven, who we love very much. So I'm going to wrap this up because um, I'm sure my kids are going to attempt to spoil me tomorrow. So, so I want to say a short prayer. I pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Heavenly Father, please stop what this woman, Cat Kerr, is doing. We all know, well, unfortunately we don't all know, but she's not going to heaven to see you on a daily basis. And she's just tickling the ears of her followers here on earth please Lord stop this nonsense and please let anyone within the sound of my voice and who fellowships with me let them know that open their ears open their eyes to this silliness but a very dangerous silliness that this woman is putting on the body of Christ and Lord we pray in Jesus name we pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. All right, folks, that will do it for me tonight. You have a blessed rest of your night, and we'll see you soon. Take care, and happy Father's Day. <laughs>